Welcome to my channel. My name is Ria and today we are going to talk about vitamin A. We are going to talk about what it does in the body and we are also going to talk about a few sources of vitamin A. But before we begin, I do request you to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you can be notified every time I post a video. So vitamin A has many functions in the body. First of all, it is a fat soluble vitamin which means it is absorbed along with fat in the body. Now let's talk about what it does in the body. Now these are just the basic functions and these are just the most important functions that I'm going to highlight. The first function is that vitamin A is extremely important for our eyes and plays an important role in eye health. A lack of vitamin A can cause vision problems, can cause eye health issues. The second thing vitamin A does in the body is that it influences our immune function, our immunity. So a lack of vitamin A can lead to getting infected, getting infections more frequently. The third important function of vitamin A in the body is that it can help with reproduction. So a lack or a deficiency of vitamin A can also cause fertility issues. The last thing I want to talk about is the fact that vitamin A is extremely important for our growth and development. A lack of vitamin A can cause growth issues, can cause development issues as well. So these were the broad functions of vitamin A in the body. Now let's talk about where we can get vitamin A from. So for the sake of simplicity, we are going to divide these into two categories. One is animal-based sources of vitamin A and the second is plant-based sources of vitamin A. Now when we consume vitamin A from animal-based sources, this is actual vitamin A that our body is absorbing directly from the source. Some sources of vitamin A are dairy, liver, eggs and fish. The second source of vitamin A is plant-based sources. So when we consume vitamin A from plant-based sources, it's not the exact vitamin A that our body needs. So what happens is that when we consume things like green leafy vegetables, things like carrots, papaya, our body absorbs carotenoids and converts this into vitamin A that our body then uses. So from plant-based, it's not a direct absorption, but more in absorption of the, you can say, the raw material that it uses to create vitamin A. Now, that being said, absorption is more from animal-based sources of vitamin A as well. So that's something to consider when you are planning out your diet and planning out where you might get your vitamin A from. Is it a plant source? Is it an animal source? And just being aware of this, I feel, is important. And one more thing I'd like to add is is that our bodies can become toxic with vitamin A as well. It's one of those vitamins that can cause problems when it's deficient, but it can also cause problems when it's in excess. So it's good to consume it from natural sources, avoid supplements, and consume the right amount because too little will cause problem, too much will cause problems as well. So in this video, I just wanted to give the basics of vitamin A and talk about the different sources, especially the distinction between animal sources and plant sources of vitamin A. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do like this video, do share it with somebody you think might benefit from this channel and do subscribe to this channel. So have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.